Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. The Evolution of In-Car Entertainment Systems Remember when road trips meant fiddling with the radio dial, hoping to catch a good station? In-Car Entertainment Systems have come a long way since those days. From simple AM, FM radios to advanced infotainment hubs, these systems have transformed the driving experience, making it more enjoyable and connected. It's all thanks to rapid advancements in technology. Today, everything from high-quality audio systems to integrated navigation and streaming services are at your fingertips. As tech keeps pushing forward, in-car entertainment systems continue to evolve, bringing us closer to the future of driving. Buckle up as we explore how these changes are shaping the way we connect with our cars. The Early Days of In-Car Entertainment Imagine driving down a quiet road in the 1930s with only the sound of the wind and tires for company. In-Car Entertainment was still a novel concept. As cars became more common and road trips more popular, the demand for In-Car Entertainment grew. The introduction of radio systems in cars marked the beginning of this fascinating evolution. Introduction of AM Radio In the 1930s, the first AM radios were introduced in cars. This was a huge leap forward for drivers and passengers alike. Finally, the monotonous drone of the road could be replaced with lively music, exciting news, and gripping radio dramas. People tuned in to catch the latest happenings and their favorite shows, making long drives much more enjoyable. AM radio wasn't perfect, its sound quality was limited and prone to interference, especially during storms or when driving through rural areas. But for the time, it was a marvel of technology. Families gathered around their car radios just like they did at home, bonding over shared music and stories. AM radio was a bridge, connecting people to the larger world even while on the move. The Shift to FM Radio By the 1960s, car owners began to see a shift from AM to FM radio, which offered richer sound quality and clearer reception. The technological advancements of FM radio were like trading in a typewriter for a sleek, modern computer. FM waves allowed more room for a variety of content, which meant more diverse programming with less static. With this transition, people could enjoy their favorite tunes without the annoying buzz and crackle of AM frequencies. Maxing out the volume, drivers were greeted with a sound that was crisper and fuller. This change was music to the ears of many, both figuratively and literally. As FM channels multiplied, listeners had a smorgasbord of choices, from rock and roll to smooth jazz, making every car ride a personalized audio journey. FM radio didn't just improve sound quality, it transformed how people interacted with their cars. Cruising down the highway with the top down and the tunes up became an iconic image of freedom and exploration. FM radio became the soundtrack to countless road trips, shaping unforgettable memories and a new era of in-car entertainment. The Rise of Cassette and CD Players In the journey of in-car entertainment, Two key players have changed how we listen to music while driving, cassette players and CD players. Each introduced its own unique flair to the music experience, bringing nostalgia and innovation to the forefront. Cassette Players Customization and Portability The 1970s saw the rise of cassette players in cars, and it was nothing short of a musical revolution. Why were cassette players so popular? For one, they offered a way to personalize music like never before. With a blank cassette, anyone could create a mixtape filled with their favorite songs. This meant you weren't stuck listening to whatever was on the radio. Instead, you could have your own tailored soundtrack for every drive. Cassette players also brought music on the move. Unlike bulky records, cassettes were compact and easy to carry. This meant you could swap them out and share them with friends without hassle. It was like carrying a pocket-sized jukebox everywhere you went. 
But it wasn't just about convenience and customization. Cassette players were durable and tough. Car rides could be bumpy, and cassette players handled it all without skipping a beat. Plus, the satisfying click of a cassette being inserted and the gentle hum as it played was music to the ears in its own right. CD players. Revolutionizing sound quality. Fast forward to the 1980s, and CD players hit the scene, forever changing how we thought about music quality in cars. What made CDs a big deal? First, their sound quality was unmatched. CDs provided clear, crisp audio that made listeners feel like they were in a recording studio. No more dealing with the hiss and pop of tapes. The introduction of CD players meant that music could be enjoyed without the wear and tear that cassettes suffered over time. Skipping tracks became a breeze with just a push of a button, and the convenience of album organization on CDs made listening sessions more dynamic. Beyond sound quality, CDs also offered durability and longevity. Unlike tapes, they didn't degrade with repeated plays. They also introduced a sleek, modern touch to car dashboards, turning them into futuristic control panels. The leap from analog to digital in car music was more than a little exciting, it was transformative. In short, both cassette and CD players brought a unique charm and advancement to in-car entertainment reflecting the eras they dominated and paving the way for the next evolution in how we consume music on the go. The advent of digital technology The late 1990s and early 2000s marked a significant shift in how we experienced music and communication in our cars. Digital technology began to take the driver's seat, steering us away from clunky tapes and scratch-prone CDs. This era saw the birth of digital music and wireless connectivity that transformed in-car entertainment. How did these technological marvels redefine our driving experience? Let's dive into two pivotal advancements, MP3 players and Bluetooth connectivity. MP3 players and digital libraries. Before digital technology took the wheel, car music libraries were limited to what could physically fit in the glove compartment. Enter the MP3 player, a compact device that revolutionized how drivers accessed their music. Suddenly, entire music collections were available at our fingertips without the clutter of CDs or tapes. Convenience. MP3 players allowed drivers to create playlists that suited any mood or journey length without needing to fumble through stacks of discs. Stay tuned for part 2 where we'll continue our journey through the history and future of in-car entertainment systems. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.